Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I am going to be bringing another girl to the strip club to apply. So I'm actually driving to the strip club right now to meet her there. Um, it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. She was actually gonna come with a friend, so I was gonna be bringing two girls, but she texted me this morning and said that her friend couldn't make it. So it's gonna be just her, which I'm kind of happy about because I feel like then we can like get more like one-on-one -on -one connection. And I am like a little sad for her because I know she did want her friend to be there with her. But I'm gonna be her friend and I'm gonna be there for her and make sure she is fine and she's not nervous and everything's okay. And if at any point she doesn't want to do it, she doesn't have to. I know it's definitely more comforting when you have a friend with you, but I'm gonna still make it good for her. And I'm really excited for her to audition. I know she's probably really nervous, but I feel like after it's over with, she's gonna be like, you know, it wasn't that bad. It's really quick and I feel like we're gonna have a fun day. So if you wanna see me bring another subscriber to the strip club to apply, then keep watching. Hi guys, okay, this is Anna. We actually already like met and went out and like yeah. got our nails done and stuff. So we filmed an intro together when we got to the club, but there was like a big fan over us, so you couldn't hear. So I just wanted to do the intro in the car. So you want to tell us like a little bit about okay, yourself? Hi, I'm Anna, I'm 18. So like, I was kind of like, I never really wanted to be a stripper. Like, you know, I never really was like, oh yeah, like I want to do that. But my friend actually convinced me and I just like went along with it. So now I'm like, I'm like into it. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is what I want to <laughs> do. She's like, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, like I'm here and I want to do it. It seems like really fun. Like, you know, she showed me the club and everything. I'm like, yes, I want to do this. And then what, what, else, what, did, what did you ask? Am I in school? No, I am not in school. Um, I'm not planning on going to school at all. And then I work at like a restaurant, but I might quit if I really like. <laughs> she does good at the club. Yeah. 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 So I will show you guys footage. Basically, I met her at the club at 12. Um, I toured her the club, showed her the champagne rooms, dance rooms, like told her all the rules. So I'm gonna put that footage in of us touring the club and then we're about to go look at some outfits. So yes. let's go. This is the VIP bar. I already showed all this to her, but we're just showing again so you guys can see. And then there's a bathroom here as well, but I think that's like for the waitresses. And then this is the little dance room for the VIP customers. Any thoughts so far? <laughs> yeah oh girl you look so pretty i feel like she's gonna do really well here she literally has a freaking model body okay so these are the curtain rooms these rooms she could do 15 minutes half an hour or an hour and then there's the bigger lounges this is the Havana room. This one is $1,400 an hour. And then these three rooms are the other champagne rooms. The rooms are really nice. Is this your first strip club that you've ever been to? Yes, yeah, this is my first club. So I'm like scary. Oh, looks like we're telling a scary story. Okay, you guys, we pretty much toured everything. I showed her the champagne rooms the dance rooms, and when we went inside the dance room, we actually saw a girl giving a dance. So I feel like that's good. Now she kind of sees what a dance is. Um, yeah, we pretty much looked at everything. So how are you feeling about your audition? Um, I, I feel good, like I feel confident about it. Like, I mean, yeah. yeah. Cause I feel like it's nerve wracking when girls literally never been to a strip club yeah. before and then they just come. But you're actually able to like walk around and see everything and see how everything's gonna be. So I think that's pretty much it for like showing her the club. She got to go on the pool. I think she's gonna do really well. So now we're just gonna go get our nails done, eat, because I'm not eating, I'm hungry. And then get her an outfit. I'm so excited to get you a dress and heels and everything. And then yeah, just come back for her audition and then she's gonna about to make some money tonight. So yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys once we go eat and get our nails and all that. Okay, you guys, we're looking for outfits now. Even the dress that she's wearing right now, she could low-key wear if she wanted to. Oh, that one's so cute. cute. And it like ties, but I hope it like Oh, me. that one's cute. Because it'll be falling off of me. Like. Yeah, well, you can always try it on, but there's a lot of options. Guys, guys look at how cute the dress is. Wear, like. That looks really good. And the back is super pretty. Yeah, it looks a little loose here, but you're gonna have your thong so if anything your thong will just show like that and we can get you a hot pink one and that would actually be cute okay. yeah i like it but it's up to you but i think yeah, this one's no. really yeah, cute yeah this is cute this is good yes 
Then we gotta get some shoes. <laughs> Some shoes. Should I show them the shoes? Yes, show okay. them. I used to have these shoes. They're yeah, so cute. I got cute. it in like uh what is the word? It's like where they glow in the dark. Yeah, so I could be like Christina. Yeah, reflective or whatever. I don't know what they're called. But I used to have these and in the club lights, girl, they're everything. Are they? Yes, and the lights they glow. Like when you're on stage. Cause you know when you go to like um the bowling alley or like yeah. whatever, this like the white stuff glows. Oh. That's what it does. Okay. So that's why they're so cute. So these are the and shoes. These, they're they're just so like cute. glow in the dark. They give me like Sony vibes with my hair, I feel like. Yes! Like, I got uh -huh. this dress. You did get this dress. <laughs> and it's so cute. It's like oh, I it love has, it. Look, it has a little like I didn't even notice that it had little dots. That's what I was showing on the butt. It's so yeah. cute. And then it's like cinched. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the front so part. Weird. She didn't get to try it on because yeah. they don't have dress rooms, but we we're it's able to really, put it it's over. It's super cute. And I like how it's pink. Like, cute. And then mm. this little thing for like the money. Her little card yeah. there. This is so cute. Yeah, yeah, the whole fit is super cute. And then we're going to go right now to my apartment and I'm going to give her a thong for my dance wear so she can wear it to like match her outfit. Oh, are you okay? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, do not break. <laughs> the girl told you she like, be careful. <laughs> I know she's gonna have a little problem probably taking unbuckling the shoes, but you'll get used to it. When you do dances, girls usually take their shoes off because it's just easier. But you don't have to if it's gonna be too hard. But it's up to you. Let me struggling. I'm kind of like scared for like the dances. Like I'm gonna like, what am I supposed to do? Like grind on them? Like what is going Honestly, on? Honestly, like I said, like when the song starts, just go slow because it wastes time. And you're gonna see there's gonna be a bunch of girls next to you doing dances. So honestly, just look at them and see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And you can even, when you start your shift, you can walk inside the dance room, like just how we did, walk in and walk out, just so you can look at what they're doing. They don't know, maybe you drop something, you're looking for something. Mm -hmm. You could literally just walk back there just to see what they're doing and then walk out. So you have an idea of what to do. Okay. But yeah, don't be nervous. Don't do anything you're not comfortable with. But you'll be fine because you're going to watch all the girls do it and then you're going to eventually get your own little routine down that you're like that you're comfortable with hey yeah, guys <laughs> <laughs> okay you guys she just finished getting ready how are yes, you feeling i feel really confident going in like i yes yeah. nails done hair done makeup done new dress everything so it's like 7 30 right now so we're about to go to mcdonald's really quick because we're hungry yes and then she's gonna go audition so i'm really excited and then she's most likely just gonna work tonight and we're gonna see how much money she makes on her first night so I'm glad you're not feeling nervous. Yeah. It's gonna be good. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Just high five. High five. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go to the club right now, so we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. Bye. So I spilled. We can't really like, see it now, but it was but... like grease, like literally burning. Yeah. Grease. We went to McDonald's and we both spilled on ourselves. So now I'm running one of Christina's are really cool. Dresses. Yes, you this guys. Is, like, amazing. That's this so is, cute. Like, the best thing I've ever seen. Like, actually, like, I'm not lying. I'm so um, excited for her to try it on. Honestly, good thing she spilled because now she's gonna wear one of the dresses. <laughs> and I know I told you that dresses are coming soon, so this is one of the dresses that are coming soon. Look at how good the dress looks on her. It's so cute. Tina Beat dance wear dresses. So this cute. one's coming soon. We just got a whole bunch of new ones in. It just sucks that we got like I know, but it looks good, honestly. I'll be like, I don't know. I know. Honestly, in the light, so it's gonna look good too. Are you ready to audition? Okay, you guys, she just finished her audition. So I just recorded the beginning of her audition with her dress on, but obviously I can't record her without a dress. But basically at the audition, you keep your dress on at first, and then you take the dress off so that they can see how your body looks. Um, you're not completely nude, but you do take the top of your dress off. So she did that and she got the job. How was the experience? Okay, so like, I was like, really, oh, I'm so oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Like, I was like really nervous, but I guess it like went well. Like, I feel like I was like going around and then like, I stopped. Like, you looked cute. And then I like stopped. Was so, it nerve wracking or was it? Like, I mean, like, I wasn't nervous. I was just like, like, I was like, oh, like, you know, is, is this good? Like, you know. No, you did good. Yeah, okay. And she auditioned with another girl. They both got the job. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. They both got the job. So they just read over the little packet. And now they're about to go on the floor and start working. It's 10.30 already. Oh my god, yeah. like, time is like flying by. I know. So it's 10.30, so she's probably only going to work for like two hours tonight just to see how much money she makes and see if she likes it and wants to come back. Hey guys. Ooh, guys, my girl got her first So day. I did her like dance and I was like really nervous. I'm like literally standing up there like a clown. Like I'm like, 
You better stop. No, literally, like, I'm so, like, oh, this is so annoying. I literally wish I could get drunk. Like, this is so annoying. But I, I wish want. I could get drunk. <laughs> she made $20, guys. Yeah, 20 uh, Literally, I was, I was, like, watching all my girls on the stage, and, like, she was so beautiful. I was, like, I didn't even know how to do, like, pose. Like, I didn't even know how to, like... I wanna this learn. girl is looking at all the girls. She's like, they're so beautiful, and every girl's coming up to her, telling her she's so beautiful. So I'm like, like I literally suck at talking to you. I was literally standing there like this until that girl like introduced me to like one of those guys, and like I was like, I was like trying so hard to talk. To so how was the dance? How was the experience? <laughs> I mean, like it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but I was like really. Nervous. I'm like so nervous. Like okay, I'll just like be like, like this is like I don't know, like I'm. I'm like it's just, your first day, so, so don't shy. be like hard Yeah, yourself. I'm no, I'm like literally gonna bully myself right now because I told myself not to be like this shy, and I'm like sitting there like this is what I'm doing. Like I'm like this. I know. <laughs> also, I was like, oh, she seems so shy. I was like, she was not shy earlier. I'm like, no, oh, she got this. Yeah, I don't know. This is like a lot of people here. Oh my god. It's but her I, first I day, so yeah. Yeah, I need I to. I need to like. And house mom partnered her up with a girl to like help her. I was like watching her dance. I think they still have my name up on there, but like when I wrote go on there because it looks really Honestly, fun. if you go up there, that's going to make guys want to dance with you because they're going to be like, oh, I saw you on stage or they're just going to throw money at you. And then okay. you can tell them how it was going on stage. Okay. So I think you should do stage in okay. my opinion. Okay. So should I tell her that like... Yeah, I think you should. But I don't want to go up to him again and be like, okay, never mind. I'm going to do stage. I'll go up to him. I'm going to tell him. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll tell him. Okay. Okay, guys. She's going to do stage. Okay. Oh, it's already on. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. No, you're good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, guys, look at my hair. It looks so good. Okay. Anyway, so hey guys. Should I like? Should you? Do you want to talk or should I start? Like, I don't know. It's up to you. I okay. mean, let's just. Okay, you guys. So we're done with the shift. Um, I'm about to drop her off at home. I just want to say thank you so much of for coming, course, and course. I'm proud of you because thank I know you. your friend bailed on you last second, and hopefully you guys can come together and still work yeah. together. But I'm proud of you because it was your first night. You did a dance, and you went on stage, and I was telling her like. I didn't even go on stage until months into working at the club. So I feel like you should yeah. be really proud of yourself. And I'm really glad we got to meet. Because you're so fucking Thank sweet. You. And honestly, I can see us being friends like in real life. No, literally. Because we're kind of like the same. Yes. But I just want you to tell them what your experience was and everything. Okay, and so I'll basically, dance. like, I was nervous as fuck. Like, once I got in there, like, I kind of, like, started to, like, lose. Well, not really. But I was really nervous because I was, like, looking at all the girls. And me personally, like, I'm, like, smaller. So, like... I don't have like fucking giant titties and like a big ass so I feel like that was what was really like making me nervous because I'm like okay like you know but you know so then like I kept coming out like I was going out and then like I would start like feeling the tears coming in because I couldn't like go up to anybody and talk to them so I'd like go back in and then like I'm like and I was like really nervous too because like you know I would see you know I saw like the girl that I came in with that I auditioned with and she was like already doing really good it was like her first night and I'm like oh my god like I suck and then I started to get like really mad at myself and then I went on stage and that was like an absolute failure and I was super mad because I literally the girl that was next to me was like amazing and I was like oh my god I was like literally like I wanted I was like avoiding eye contact with every single person and I was like <laughs> you know but like literally i was like watching this one really pretty girl on stage and i was like i want to be like her so i'm not giving up just yet like i feel like i'm gonna like keep going and like trying and like i'm just like a really shy person so i feel like that's what like kind of like set me back because i don't want to go up to people and like talk to them like it's really really hard for me but then it's like my first night like she told me so like yeah. i'm gonna try again i'm gonna keep trying like and if it doesn't work out then it doesn't work out but i'm not gonna give up just yet i feel like like i don't know i feel like Something good could come out of it if I keep going back. Like I, don't I know. feel like you remind me so much of myself when I first started. Cause obviously you guys on YouTube have, I started vlogging like a year into working, so you guys saw me like doing good and making money. But when I first started, I'm like a super shy person as well, and I feel like I kind of learned how to cope with it while being a dancer. But I was telling her when I started, I did not have my titties done. My butt implants were fresh out the factory. Like my butt does not jiggle like a regular girl with a fat ass. So I feel like the way she felt really anxious and didn't want to talk to people and she felt like she was comparing herself to other girls, I did the same thing because obviously there's going to be girls there with a fat ass yeah. and big titties and you're going to be like, damn, that's what every guy wants. Like, I'm not that. And yeah. I had like my acne and I had like, it was just hard. It is hard. You're not going to just go and be the baddest bitch and be a stripper and make money. You have to learn how you sell and how stripping works for you because it took me a very... It took me a year, basically, to learn how to sell things and learn how to actually make money. I told her I was making, like, $80. I even have videos on my phone where I thought I was a shit because I made, like, 100 or $200. So, it definitely is hard, but I think if, never do anything you're uncomfortable with. Like I told her, if you don't want to go back, and even house moms, like, if this isn't for you, do not feel forced. 
but I don't even think that it's because it's not for her I think that she's just from even just me meeting you I feel like you're just very hard on yourself and you don't give yourself enough credit yeah I know so like, girls tell me that stuff. I know you look up like you are so young and just like a lot of I'm things you told me I'm just like amazed by you like I feel like you stop you just need to, okay I really love you and I'm glad we met we need to hang out again but you're like, definitely you're like a best friend like literally it's like weird because like I feel like my perception is like stripper like I didn't imagine that it would be like that like that was really hard like you know what I mean like I just like you think that like strippers like just make easy money but there's a lot of work that goes into it like that's true you know and we make it look easy especially yeah. when I do my vlogs I'm like okay I got ready I'm at work okay I made a thousand dollars so it looks so easy but it's not I yeah can't. and I didn't start vlogging until like over a year in so obviously you guys see me but you didn't see me at my worst because when I first started there's no way in hell I would have vlogged because I did not have the confidence and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing so when you're new to the industry, it definitely takes time. And I feel like the only way to know if it's for you is to go. And she took that first step and went. And I feel like once you start working there more and you start to realize like how you sell and how you work, then you'll know. Yeah, and I feel but, like, I don't know, that's just that one girl that I saw, like she just, like I admire her and I want to be her. Like literally, like that was probably like, I literally was like, when I was at the club, I was just sitting there watching all the girls on stage. Like I was standing there in the corner like this, watching <laughs> all the girls on stage. And I, I think that just like me, gave me more confidence to like go back and try again. Like I'm not the type of person that quit. Like I will, I'll quit until like, I'll quit when I become really good. But right now mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, this is, I'm trying to. Yeah, and I was, when she was crying, I was like, oh my God, I feel bad. Like, do you want to leave? She's like, no, like I expect more from myself. Like yeah. I want to do better. Like, she's like, I hate that I'm being shy right now. Yeah. And I'm really glad we met. And if you need yeah. anything, girl, you could. Let me, let's just end the video okay, so we okay. can just talk. Okay, guys, we love you so much. Thank you. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'll leave all your social media. Okay. TikTok. I know yes. you're like TikTok famous. Yes. Instagram. <laughs> Everything you have, I'll leave it down below. Hopefully, you do a YouTube channel because yes, I would love to see yes, that. Okay. And I'm we're gonna do an update soon because I know she's gonna go back. Hopefully, you can go back with your friend. Yeah. And everything will be good. And we're gonna do an update to see how things go in your life because I really wanna. I'm curious too, and I wanna stay in touch and all okay, that. So yes. give it a thumbs up and subscribe, you guys. And this is not the last you're gonna see of Anna. Sorry, my voice is like half gone, but okay. Bye. Bye.